What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency, and I'm back at it once again. And today, we're in the city of Gridley, California, and unfortunately, we have some negative actions of some police officers to expose. I also think we are going to see a first in First Amendment auditing in this video. Please share this video. We need to get this out there for sure. Before we get to the video, I want to give a shout out to Bella Motors out there in Auburn, California. I needed a commuter car. These gas prices are crazy. They hooked me up. They took care of me. If you need a vehicle and you're out in the Sacramento area, Bella Motors out in Auburn. Check them out. Best prices around. That's for sure. As always, if you can find the hidden word, the hidden misspelled word, we are playing that game. Please give a timestamp of the word and what the word is, and your comment will get pinned to the top. Give me a like. Give me a share. Definitely subscribe. This is one of the best auditing channels, that's for sure. I'm never going to call myself the best because there are many greats. Salute to all the auditors out there. It's B-A-T, and I'm O-U-T. All right. Go ahead and take some pictures back here. I don't see any signs. I do see some cameras up there. But I do not see any signs that I cannot be back here. As a matter of fact, it's not that I don't see any. There are none. Taking pictures, how you doing? Can I help you with something? About 15 minutes. Send. No, I'm good. Just taking some pictures. Okay. Cool. What's your name? Sergeant Farr, what's your name? Awesome. I don't give it. You from here? I don't like to answer questions, but no? nah. How about you? You from here? Awesome. Come in. What, taking pictures? To get a... Well... Yeah, filming's taking pictures too. What's yeah. the to, I mean, really? <laughs> to, who's talking to me? I don't see you, man. You're a little short over there. To get uh, pictures, right? <laughs> don't, don't touch the car. I can touch the vehicles. No, you can't touch the car. Yes, I can. No, you what law is that, sir? I'll let you. I'll let you record. You're That's not gonna, cool. You're not touch you need to back up from me. I'm coming not, over here. Not, hey, don't touch, touch me, dude. You're not, you're not you touch, touch me again, vehicle. I'm gonna defend myself, bud. You're not gonna touch the vehicle. Touch me again, I'm defending myself. Well, you can do that, but I'm don't touch me. Don't touch the vehicle. Don't touch me. I can touch the vehicle all I want. What law is that? My name's Lieutenant Kiwi. What is your name? Cool. What law is that? The reason why I don't touch the cars, I really don't just want you like. I don't mind you do what you're doing. I don't really. Well, why aren't you reprimanding this guy for touching me? You can't he touch. Yeah, he did. He I got it on camera. Reach. You walk towards him. You rip the arms reach. Dude, it's recorded, back. bud. You're so lying. Here's what I Look. Just asked that you Okay, Bay fam, I need to stop that right there. It's very clear the lieutenant is lying in this scenario. And according to the Gridley Police Department Policy Manual, Section 340.5.6, under Performance, Subsection D, being untruthful or knowingly making false, misleading, or malicious statements that are reasonably calculated to harm the reputation, authority, or official standing of this department or its members is a cause for discipline. It's obvious the lieutenant's lying. We caught it on camera. And lying like that will tarnish the reputation of the police department within the community and the community members. We can't have officers lying about other officers' conduct. Touched it. Cool with that? Just, Look, gonna sit on it. Hey, just do we me good a favor. with that? Do me a Are we good with he's that? You, right? Are we good with that? Hey, he's talking to you. You can walk up and push me, me dude. What's wrong with you? I was you coming over here so I could see him. Do me a favor. And you walk up and start shoving me. You're lucky your face didn't hey. hit that concrete, hey, bud. Do me a favor. We'll what? Try I don't mind. <laughs> Touch me certain, again, and certain, I promise hey, you, hey, I'll bounce you off every wall around this place. Hear me out. Yeah. I don't mind what you're doing. I don't. You can't. 
You can't, can't mind it. I don't, I don't, I don't, you need to mind what your officer your did. Right, okay? I know, and you need to mind what your officer did. Or in the future, if you're going to record, I don't mind it. But just be careful that if you're going to be like all up in here, be careful. We do get calls for service, so when we do, I, out, yeah, I don't need directions. Don't, I don't. don't I don't need. I don't. I don't need any. Don't what you're doing. I don't need any directions. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I can be back here. But you're on the it's, property of the city. You know and it's right. open to the public. Not the back part. Yes, it is. No, it's not. This yeah, it is. Area. This That's is the area where we just leave and go and come. Back. Doesn't matter. It's all open to the public. It's wide open. There's no fence, no gate, no door, no barrier. Gonna not going to do a Just favor at all. Here because we don't know who I'm going to be back here. And I'm going to touch the vehicle. No, you're not going to touch the vehicle. I am going to touch the vehicle. I see what you're doing. You get a, you no, get a what you don't understand do is you're trying to Continue, enforce. You put you in handcuffs and do all this stuff. I mean, you want to put it on Facebook. No, it has nothing to do with that. There's no law know. saying I can't touch these. Okay. As a matter of fact, I can come tire kick so, every one of these vehicles if I want to make sure the tires are fine. That's not tampering with the car. Tampering, with, the tampering with the car is actually causing some harm to the vehicle, sir. But as you're <laughs> there, I mean, that's subject to your interpretation, right? What? Well, then you're familiar hey, with the law. Then right? do what you got to do. I'm very familiar with the law. Okay. So I'm not. I'm not. So I'm. I'm, I'm the gonna. Car, so I'm, I'm gonna. Ask, I'm gonna touch the vehicles. Right. I'm gonna sit on a couple of these you're vehicles. Gonna I am gonna do it. I am, sir. No. What law would it be? Because this, this area is not open to the public. It is they open to the public. All up, all up in our car you might not want it, but it is open to the public. Okay, no, it's not. And That's you, need, you, to, you need to worry about less about me and more about your officer who thinks he can touch people. Okay? So, because I, I, the Supreme Court's rule, we can defend, I can defend myself, sure, right? Sure, you're right. And it would, if I would have been just, if I would have punched him right in his mouth, I would have been totally yeah. justified and yeah. I got it on camera, right? So right. you can't just walk up. Right? Huh? You could, you're allowed to insight after the fact, too, right? Insight? Yeah, insight. Yeah. Insight what? Yeah, I know what it means. Insight, insight what? Alter altercation. How am I inside an altercation? Walking around with a camera? <laughs> Walking around with a camera? So anyways, hell up. So Telling you, you that, that you need so to know. focus on disciplining him? Just so my officers what was your name and badge number again? Keys. All right, two. cool. And your name and badge number? Sergeant Parr. And badge number? S1. And what's your name and badge number? It's Officer Pizzi, back in Badge 6 right here. Badge 6, okay. Learn something from that, man. You don't touch people. Just Remember, unless somebody has, you have reasonable suspicion, you don't have any hey, authority favor, over man. people. So ways, just don't okay. touch people, bud. Hey, two ways. The, just give us our own space as well. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back here where I can be. Well, now you I, I, Hey, just give us our own personal space. Obviously, we have a lot of options. Well, I don't have to do that. Because I don't Again, I don't have to do it. I can walk right now, up to you. Our reaction could possibly be way different if you're out of that door. And we go to a call. So, and plus, we, we know who you are. We've seen your face. We may not know your name, but we've seen your face. You know what you're doing. But the off, other officers won't. They could end up walking out here at nighttime. I don't know when you're going to be doing this. I'll be out here for a couple okay. hours. That's, yeah, that's I mean, too. it is what it is. I don't need you to worry about my safety. I need I you to to reprimand. I need you to I need you to reprimand him for for to touching me. Right you will. No, <laughs> yeah, when the I'll complaints right come in and all that stuff happens, yeah, you guys will be looking into it because totally you can't just walk up and push totally somebody. Fine. And, 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 and about touching a vehicle that this, I can totally touch. Look, look I can totally this touch though? this. Well, I mean, I just got shoved because he thought I was going to touch the vehicle and I was coming to talk to you. And yet I can touch the vehicles. So, in the end, you just so why the shove the dude? Us, right? I came to get a reaction. I'm not the one who was pushing people, bud. Of course I'm going to be mad. Of course you're going to get a reaction. You come up and shove me. I was coming to talk to you. I was very cordial until I was shoved. Uh, and I'm still being right? You, right? Well, it doesn't matter. You weren't shoved. Let me come shove you and then see how cordial you are. You're not going to like it, right? Oh, so like don't it, be mad at me know. for not liking it. I mean, it's come so on. <laughs> Common sense. You're t well, you're saying I'm trying to get a reaction. That's not. Well, you're here. You're here for a personal gain or some or some reason, right? I'm here for a reason. reason. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's it not is. about. I mean, you guys don't have to give a negative reaction at all. You guys know I can do this. You're trying to lie, saying this isn't open to the public. It is. He, your guy, t pushed me and shoved me to to not touch a vehicle. I can touch the vehicle. So and basically, you guys are trying to enforce things that aren't laws. Okay. I mean, come on, bro. You right Your now? law enforcement. Just, enforce us, enforce so laws. The cars, we don't know what Negative. I'm going to record all the cars. If we walk back inside, you're going to vandalize or do what you can do. That's, that's not, not my business. That's not my problem. I'm going to I'm gonna record all happens. the cars. It will be if it happens. Well, right. if it happens, then it happens. Then right. catch me doing it. Other than that, I'm going to take pictures of all the cars. I'm going to be around them. Like I said, I'm going to go sit on a couple of those because they're lower. Check out some of my videos. and okay. I'll, I'll be around. So, okay, cool. yeah, I just moved out here, and so you guys will be seeing a lot of me. So, yeah, especially with 
guys who think they can just put their hands on people. And then you say he didn't touch me. And then you say, oh, no, but you walked up on him. Happen. I didn't say that didn't happen. Bro, I got don't it on camera. I got, you know, I got in his personal space. We have a space. He, have, remember, I got that on camera reaction. too, right? Okay, Bay fam. to answer the lieutenant, yes, I do know what reactionary gaps are. I don't think he quite understands them, though. According to Dave Grossi, who's a retired police lieutenant and very renowned police instructor, reactionary gaps are defined as the minimum amount of space needed to ensure that you can properly react to whatever threat may be presented by a suspect being questioned or detained. In this situation, I'm not a suspect. I'm not being questioned or detained. This is a consensual encounter. Your officer closed the reactionary gap to within inches, making that okay and normal in this situation. Remember, I got that on gap. camera reactionary too, right? Reactionary gap. You understand what that is? I can come stand don't right next to him. I can come right next to him. Me, dude. I don't want you near me. I can come right next okay, to you. Okay, There's no lie. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stop getting near me. Don't, I can stand right next to you. What law is that? What law is that? Devin, what law is that? Go inside. Go. Yeah. Okay, Bay fam, as we just saw, the officer violated many rules of conduct. According to the Gridley Police Department Policy Manual, Section 340.5.7 under conduct, the officer clearly violated several of these statutes, those being B, C, D, F, and H. Yeah, push me again, bro. Look at this guy's a piece of shit, dude. Just say, hey, just reaction again. Adam, go inside. Thanks, guys. Dude, it's yeah, it. enforce laws only. That's it. Okay? You tell me not to get next to you, I can get three feet from you. No, I know no, you guys no, have your 21 no, feet. Yes, no, I can. Will not get that close to you. Yes, I can. Not, and yes, I safety, did. And yes, I will. What law is it? It will be 148 if you don't get 148 what? Of the California For what? Because I'm asking you to... 148 has to do with loitering and other things. Do you understand you 148 G's? Huh? No, it's not yeah. loitering. 148 G, yeah, it's partly. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of them, but I can Anyways, get cl very close to I'm you. I'm gonna let you do your thing. There's nothing you just, can do, just, bud. Just, nothing you can do. Look, don't do all I'm that. six feet from you. That should be that's, okay. That's, that's really good. I and, appreciate but, it. But when you say I can't, you, that's I'm not true. You can't your cop walked up to me and shoved me, okay? Okay. All right, that's different. That's not me getting close to him. Now I just got close to him and he shoved me again because the dude's a tyrant and he's a piece of shit. But I can get close to you. I can get See, close. And I back up and then I'll react. Okay, I can get. What are you going to react though? What law Don't would you get, be enforcing? We'll find out if you get any closer. We'll find out what. Yes. So just stay what? Back. What law? Ask, what law back. would you enforce? So how, if you're going to be out here, I'll let my guys know. There's nothing. You're video there's nothing. Or whatever, you're, fine, dude, you're whatever. a lieutenant, and I'm 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 ashamed, man, okay. because I know. But anyways, I'm pro police, so and you're saying that you're going to do something if I, I get ask any that you closer. Stay away from the door. You ask, and but you I don't video, have to. That's fine. Just like cars, you ask that I stay great. away from you, so but I don't, I don't have to. to. Okay, go away. away. From the door. I'm going to be right by no, the door. Yes, I am. I'm going to be right by it. You're not. Just like I'm not going to touch the car, right? I'm going to touch the car. I'm going to be by the door. I'm going to do all that. If you guys weren't out here telling me not to, then I then I wouldn't be. But I'm gonna be right by the door. Look, I'm right by it. <laughs> What's wrong with these guys, dude? These guys are something else. You got this cop pushing me because he thinks that people can't get next to him. I'm not detained. You don't have any reasonable suspicion that I committed or I'm about to commit a crime at all. You telling me not to get near the door? I can get right up to the d damn door, and that's a lieutenant telling me he's gonna react and and basically threatening to arrest me. We're gonna find out what crime it is if you get any closer. I get right up t close next to you, dude, just like you do to us. Well, it looks like this guy's going to a call. He's just minding his business, not shouting directives at me, and that's all good. So for him, thank you for your service. Uh, and I'm still sitting right here, just sitting on the on the police car, just sitting out here. And we got a guy going. He's probably going to be the one to follow me. I'm assuming. Let's see what vehicle number is it. That way I can get the 
He got a uh, 151. Okay, that way we can just pay attention to that. There we go. So they say you can't sit on the vehicle. Obviously, I can sit on the vehicle. Obviously, we can touch the vehicles here. Um, you know, I can come check all their tires, which is what I was doing when they told me not to touch the vehicle. I was actually checking the tires on the vehicle to make sure they were safe. Um, and, you know, we find a lot of times that the vehicle, the officer's vehicles don't have good tires. And that's something we can bring up as taxpayers. Okay, but then I get start getting shoved and pushed and, and false directives that I don't have to listen to. It got real ridiculous over here. These cops are horrible. We need to let our voice be heard. Let our voice be heard. City of Gridley Police, you got all their names, and the ones pushing me and shoving me, that's straight battery for sure. It, it always cracks me up when I'm just peacefully recording. They come out all fast and crazy and start jamming me up and then accuse me of, of being in here looking for a reaction. I didn't have to. There's my tail. There he is right there. Yep, sitting and waiting for me. Like I said, I'll be honest, I didn't have to go stand up and next to him, but you're, you're giving me all these directives that are not legal. I don't have to listen to any of these directives telling me all this nonsense. Of course I'm gonna go do it, especially after I was just shoved. Now, if I wasn't shoved, I probably would have never walked um, and went and stood next to that, that cop. All right, let's get a complaint form from these cops. Nope, they're open. Awesome. Can I get a complaint form from you? Pardon? Complaint form? Yeah, they're online at uh, Gridley. You got a paper copy? Yeah, yeah, I'll have to print. There might be some over there, but I'll start pulling one up. Let me, I'll check right here. Cool. There's a kid who, Mr. Touchy Touchy right there. Fuck, man pro-police but why you start shoving people at least this sergeant had enough sense to tell the young kid to go back to get inside and get out of there and he told the other cop to get out of there too you know i can give him credit for that there's a complaint for your question perfect what was your name sir uh, i don't give it okay all right yeah just you can read through that yeah i got it and then out all your information and what occurred and go from there oh yeah cool oh i gotta pull your policy but i'll do that to the city clerk all righty oh i can check them what's upstairs here uh that's city hall oh city hall and they're closed right now yeah, so i don't closed. so i can't even get it from the clerk okay i'll call in i'll come down tomorrow all right all right thanks <laughs> all right there's a complaint. They said it's online. I will definitely put their website up. And uh, I mean, you guys saw it, man. They, these cops, we see it all the time, so it's not new to us. You know, the cops think that if you're doing something they don't like, or if you're standing somewhere and they want you to move, or if you're too close to them, they can put their hands on you. They think they have that authority. The thing is, is the law doesn't give them that authority. The law gives them, they, they have very, very specific policies and there's very specific laws on when the use of force can occur. And it's not because you're standing somewhere they don't like, okay? It's not because you're standing three feet away from an officer. It's not because they don't want you to touch a vehicle and they think you're gonna touch a vehicle. And then you got a lieutenant lying saying, well, you got in his space. No, he walked right at me. I did not get in his space at all. And that video was going to show that, man. So that lieutenant, garbage, he needs to be reprimanded. And, uh, you know, the next time we come back over here to Gridley, I bet you they're going to be singing another song, Bay Fam. Let your voice be heard. B-A-T and I'm O-U-T, baby.